Welcome to today's presentation. Today's presentation is about uh, the topic for Millian variation. And the question we have here will be about uh, joint variations. So the question reads, four quantities P, Q, and R and S are such that P varies directly as the square root of Q and inversely as the square of the difference of R and S. Quantity Q is increased by 44%, while quantity R and S are each decreased by 10%. Find the corresponding percentage change in P correct to one decimal place. So in this particular problem, we'll first of all uh, interpret the variation here. We are told four quantities P, Q, R, and S are such that P varies directly. So P varies directly as the square root of Q. So that means P varies as the square root of Q and inversely as the square of the difference of R and S. So we'll have R minus S squared. So in this case, even if you write S minus R squared, you still arrive at the same result. So that is not a big deal. So let's pick on R minus S. So this symbol here uh, is a symbol for variation and is read as varies us. So we can replace this symbol with an equal sign. And when we replace it with an equal sign, we'll simply have P is equal to K, so introduce a constant K, it can be any other letter of your choice. So K root Q all over R minus S squared. So this is what P is before any changes are made. So we are told that uh, Q is increased by 44%. So when Q is increased by 44%, that means we will have a new value of Q. Let's represent it by Q prime. So Q is increased by 44%. So we'll have 144 over 100 of Q. So this is just 1.44 Q. And we are told that both R and S are decreased by 10%. So R and S are each decreased by 10%. So that means the new value of R becomes, that is 100 minus 10, which is 90. So 90 over 100 R, which is just 0 0.9 R. The same applies for uh, S. So S prime is 90 over 100 S, which is just 0 0.9 S. So that would therefore mean the new value of P will be, so rewriting this with the new values, we'll have K root Q prime, and Q prime is 1.44 Q. All over R minus S, so we have 0. 9R for the new value of R minus 0 0.9S and then this is squared. So this uh, in a simpler form will be, so we factor out root 144 and that will be the square root of, or rather 1.44 not 144. So the square root of 1.44 times K root Q and this will have to divide by, so 0 0.9 is also common here, so we factor it out and square, so that will be 0 0.9 squared times r minus s squared. So at this particular point, uh, we can have the square root of 144, or rather the square root of 1.44 divided by 0 0.8. Uh, 0 0.9 squared. So that will be 1.2 over 0 0.81 and it should give us 40 over 
27 k root q over r minus s squared but remember k root q over r minus s squared is already p so we have it here p is k root q over r minus s squared so we can just decide to replace this with p so that we have 40 over 27 p so for clarity we just mean that the new value of p is 40 over 27 p so with this We can therefore get the corresponding percentage change in P correct to one decimal place. So the percentage change in P will be obtained by simply having the new value of P minus original value over the original times 100. So here we'll have the new value is 40 over 27. P minus original is P over P times 100 sorry so 40 over 27 p minus p that should give us 13 over 27 p and then we divide by p times 100 so these cancel and finally we are able to get 48.1481 and this is approximately 48.1, that is when expressed to one decimal place. And finally, we have got the percentage change, of which it is percentage increase for this case because the result is positive. So that is it for this question. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.